हेलो फ्रेंड्स द स्टोमेटा आर द नेचुरल ओपनिंग्स और नेचुरल पोर्स प्रेजेंट ऑन द एपिडर्मिस ऑफ द लीव्स एंड द फ्लोरल पार्ट्स लाइक द सेपल्स एंड पेटल्स द नंबर ऑफ स्टोमेटा आर डिफरेंट इन डिफरेंट प्लांट्स इन मोनोकॉट द स्टोमेटा आर डंबेल शेप्ड वेयर एज इन डाइकॉट्स द स्टोमेटा आर किडनी शेप्ड डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ स्टोमेटा आल्सो वेरीज ऑन अपर एपिडर्मिस and on the lower epidermis similarly the stomatal nature varies in aquatic plants hydrophytes like as hydrilla and in xerophytes like as nerium in this practical we will study the nature of stomata in monocot and dicot and we will measure the stomatal density for this purpose we have to prepare a window of 1 square mm on the graph paper so with the help of fine blade we will carefully cut a window of 1 square mm and then this piece of graph paper will be pasted on a slide we have to paste it on lower surface and the peeling will be mounted on upper surface of this slide the peeling of the epidermis can be removed with the help of nail paint or manually it can be removed by peeling of the leaf the peeling will be mounted in a drop of glycerin and then we have to put a coarse slip on this slide then observe it under microscope at low power now all the area will appear dark except the window of 1 square mm now here the light will pass and will illuminate the structure of epidermis and stomata for measurement of stomatal density we have to measure the number of stomata present in 1 square mm area in monocots the stomata are arranged in a single line so we have to measure the stomata present in one line and multiply it with number of lines present in 1 square mm area in dicot the stomata are scattered so we have to take a photograph of this view and then manually we can measure the number of stomata so this number of stomata per unit area is called as stomatal density the structure can be observed under high power of the microscope in case of monocot stomata the guard cells appear to be dumbbell shaped they are surrounded by subsidiary cells and then in turn the epidermal cells epidermal cells are rectangular and have the wavy outline in case of dicots the guard cells are kidney shaped or bean shaped they are surrounded by subsidiary cells and epidermal cells note that the number of stomata may vary on upper surface as well as on lower surface and the stomatal density will be the characteristic of that plant hope this video will help you to understand this concept for more practical videos visit to my youtube channel see you in next video thank you